the perfect front-end web developer roadmap did not exist until now. Look, I've been looking at a lot of front-end web developer roadmaps out there, and while a lot of them are true and give off some fantastic advice, a lot of videos out there seem to be missing one key thing, and that's what I'm going to address right now. Programming takes time. Forget what everyone says about learning to code in three months or six months or even a year. It's not possible. And why is that? Because for a successful roadmap to work, you need to be able to put in the time to the basics and the fundamentals. You need to drill them into your brain. And that's not something that can happen overnight. I'm tired of seeing all of these learn JavaScript in one month or learn Python in three weeks or whatever kind of video is out there. I'm so tired of seeing these because they're not true. And all they do is give you this false hope that you can become this professional developer in such little time. Now that you've accepted that this is going to be a long journey, let's dive in to the perfect front-end web developer roadmap. Now, a lot of people tend to complicate these roadmaps. They tend to add so many different languages and they make it almost overwhelming for any new person in programming. So I want this to be something that's easy for everyone to understand. So let's start with the trio, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you were to do a quick Google search, you would see that it says exactly like this. Together, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript make up the essential building blocks of websites worldwide. And for front-end developers, that's exactly what you need. And it's what we even teach all of our students at DevSlips Academy. So step one, HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, but nobody cares about that. Why do you need HTML? Well, it's one of the easiest languages to get into, and it's the basic building block for any website. If you were to open up the hood of any website, HTML is there. Let's use an analogy. Let's say you're building a house. When you get started with building a house, you need to lay out the foundation, add the wooden frames, the basic stuff. And while it doesn't look pretty at first, it's what you need to get started. For coding, HTML is used the exact same way. It's the headings, the paragraphs, maybe some images and videos, all of the building blocks of any website. You need to spend about one to two months working with HTML. And while it's relatively easy, it doesn't mean that you should blow through it within a week. What happens is a lot of people try to rush through HTML and they get to CSS and they done literally forgot everything about HTML. It happens so fast because you can't rush through this stuff. So here's what I'd recommend. Spend about one hour going through some documentation, learning online, and then spend the next hour or hour and a half actually building something. This could be a survey form or a simple blog site, just something with basic HTML. Learn how buttons work. Learn how you can use tables. My point is, don't rush through HTML. Step two, CSS. Now, let's go back to our house analogy. So we have all of the basic stuff, right? We have our building blocks, our wooden frames, all that jazz. Now, we need to think about styling the house, the appearance. This could be what kind of flooring do we want? Do we want carpet? What color are the walls gonna be? Do we want like a walk-in shower? Do we want marble or granite tables? All of the things that make the house look good, that make it pretty. And on our websites, that's CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets really putting emphasis on the word style there. CSS is used to determine the fonts, layouts, gradients, backgrounds, colors, everything that makes a website look pretty, where things go on the site, the layout. That being said, just like HTML, you need to spend two to three months working with CSS. There is so much to CSS and you do not want to miss anything. Learn how to style text, create boxes, work with Flexbox, work with CSS grids and responsive design. Even try out some basic animations. Really spend time in CSS. And here's how you could practice. So we've already made some stuff with HTML, right? Maybe we made a, a, a survey form or a blog site. Why not take those projects and style them in CSS. A lot of people try and start all this new stuff, but let's work with the stuff that we already have. Let's finish these projects that we started. Really make them look nice. Really work on these. Make these the best you can make them. Additionally, something else you could do, start taking a look at some of your favorite websites. Sites like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, and maybe replicate the front end of those sites. If we look at the YouTube homepage, really go into detail. Look at the navigation 
navigation bar up here at the top, or, or this side menu bar. Check out this hamburger icon, how it switches. How can we use HTML and CSS to create these things? These projects are what's gonna take you from knowing basic syntax to being able to think like a real front-end web developer. But if you do this one thing, this thing that everybody does, this thing that so many people make the mistake of doing, then you will kill your progress as a front-end web developer. Code along tutorials. We see them all the time. Let's build a Netflix clone and it's this giant six hour long tutorial why are these bad well think about it if you're just aimlessly following along and copying all the code that's not even yours that someone else is doing and you're just mimicking exactly what they're doing without asking how or why it even works are you really learning the answer to that is no you're just building something to have the satisfaction of completing something and in reality it's not even that your satisfaction to have because you never built it in the first place so i'd highly recommend that you build these projects on your own when you get stuck you go check documentation you go google things you try and figure things out you try and solve the problem on your own and you don't just follow along aimlessly on a coding tutorial okay step number three is JavaScript. JavaScript is your bread and butter. It is the most important programming language in front-end web development, hands down. If we go back to our amazing house analogy, we have our we have our base, right? We have our foundation, we have the wooden frames, all that easy stuff. Now we have our appearance. We have the color of the walls, the carpet, the walk-in shower, everything that makes it look nice. Now we need to be thinking about the functionality of our house, the light switches, the electricity outlets, the running water, air conditioning, all of what makes a house a house. A great example of JavaScript being used is Google. When you start typing in a search box and suggestions automatically pop up as you hit a few letters, that's JavaScript. JavaScript is what makes a website a website. It's the functionality behind it. And how long should you spend learning JavaScript? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You need to be spending a long time with JavaScript. It will probably take you one to two years to even become proficient in the language. Seriously, I can't address this enough. This is a long process, it's a long journey. And especially with JavaScript, there's so much to it. Learning data structures, algorithms, how to work with APIs, building real world projects that function. It's not easy. A quick tip though, coding challenges help. Doing these daily will help you think like a programmer. So I'd highly recommend coding challenges. Lastly, step number four, React. Now with all the frameworks like Angular and Vue.js, why am I saying React? Well, the answer is really simple. The job market. When I thought about this roadmap, I thought about what is the quickest way that you can get a job. And React.js is what the market is looking for. Plus, it's an easy transition from JavaScript. If we take a look at the React.js developer salary, we'll see that the national average here in the US is over $100,000 a year. And as a junior level developer, you can make around $75,000 a year. That's a lot of money. And React rules the market. It is lightweight, easy to use, and it's easy to go from JavaScript to React to help you become job ready. Why not look for the skills that employers want? And that's it. I wanted to make this as simple as possible. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. You start there and you will be job ready in as little as 18 months. Like I said, it's gonna be a long process. It could even take longer than 18 months, but this is what you need to learn. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. See you next time.